Oh, Hi, squad. what's up, girl? Hey. Oh, you guys are like in the office office. We are back here, yes. Awesome. What's up, boo? I wish I was there in real life. This is like my favorite time of year, like doing the New York press tour and then going to Miami and are we turning it. Wait, are we recording? Because that's good. Yeah. We're yeah. Good. So yeah, I mean, usually the 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 um, issue drops and you're like out and about and jet setting and talking that shit, and now you just got to do it from home. Yeah, sweatpants on and trying to look like. Well, hey, that's a bonus, right? Top. <laughs> I would imagine when you're out here, uh, uh, when you're out there doing SI tours, you got to make sure your hair and makeup and clothes and everything looks SI approved. At least now you can chill in your sweatpants. Yeah, exactly. It's Where really are comfortable. You right now? What's that? Where are you? I'm in Foxborough. Oh, you're in Foxborough? Yeah. Oh. Rob and I are here. He, he's not officially in Tampa yet soon, but not yet. You're just holding on for dear life, huh? Just, just squeezing out as much Foxborough as you can. I honestly, I'm, I, you know, I'm an East Coast girl. I grew up in Connecticut, so I kind of like being like in the, having the woods and the nature and like mm -hmm. the whole night. Like, the beach will be nice, but this feels like home. So I have my friend's uh, pit bull here today. So he's like, when you hear like grunting and growling. Let me see. Let me see. Can we get a little, can we get a little shot of him with the camera? Hold on. This is Drake. Drake. Oh. <laughs> what a pop. <laughs> Look at those eyes. His yeah, eyes bogging out. I'll be honest. He's very adorable. I'll give it to you. I, I, I might have said some things recently that I, uh, about dogs that I, uh, I disparage dogs, but that's <laughs> oh, a cute this, one. This is a good dog. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's really cute. Rob said if there's no football that we can have a dog. Well, oh, does, wait, so does Rob hoping? think there's going to be no football? I don't know. We No, we really don't know. <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, you know what? I don't trust you, though. I've been trying to pump you for information for years, and you never give it to me, so I don't know what you're... I, I mean, if the, if the football players don't know, then who knows? So. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. Uh, what would you think? Do you think there's going to be football? Just as a guess. I, I think there'll be football. Yeah. I think there'll be football. I don't. I, think. I don't. I don't think there'll be fans, but I think... Oh, no, definitely no fans. Yeah. But I, I, just, I just don't think it's, it's wild, but... But if basketball and, and baseball, if there's happen, no Sports Illustrated, then how is there going to be football? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right? If there's no SI tour, come on, football. Who gives a shit? So we yeah, still we got... don't have Sports Illustrated to win. <laughs> I, don't, I don't think you saw it yet. I, you, we, we, you know that we are on the wall, but we like framed it all nice and everything for you now. So, You're kidding. Yeah, immortalized because uh, it was like starting to like crumple and fall over and yeah. shit. So we uh, we put it in the nice wow. wood frame. So that was the 2019, and obviously now it's the 20 edition. Honestly, this feels yeah. uh, longer than a year ago. What does this feel recent or a long well, time for it, you? Um, that news feels. I mean, I don't know. I feel I can go back to that feeling in like an instant. It was. Yeah. It was like that. It's like that moment, you right. know. And and I don't know if you guys have had this moment in your career. Oh, uh, hey, no, hey, Camille. hey, Camille, we definitely haven't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You definitely had. I was gonna say, you know, when that what poster came to life and KSC Radio became a thing, and it nope so does not compare. Not even not close, Camille. We have, That's very nice of you to even entertain that yeah. idea. But no, we've had nothing comparable to the cover of Sports Illustrated. <laughs> I mean, you guys are one of the first places I went. After I know I we that. appreciate that. Yeah, that was huge. That was actually a sign. That's how. Um, I think how surprising and how much of an upset it was that you did get the cover is that you were still talking to us. <laughs> you guys are my homies. Uh, so this year is like another trio on the cover. Is that kind of what like they, they do is they always have the individual covers, but now they're always going to have a group cover as well? Well, I remember, I'm sure you guys remember this too, uh, when they had the triple the triple cover with um, with Lily and Chrissy Teigen and mm -hmm. Nina. Yeah. And, oh, that was like one of my favorite favorite yeah that was one of my favorite covers right. and so it was really that when i saw this cover it reminded me of that one and i was like oh what a moment to be a part of so it was really cool and then it's it's neat too that you know over the years i've looked up to the magazine and i admire the girls from afar and now they're you know, they're like my swim sisters we call it it's so it's cool sister. to know jasmine personally and olivia and kate and it's like it, it's just like an exciting feeling for everybody i woke up to watch good morning america and you know i got all the feels all over again for them so it was you set the alarm Oh yeah. Oh no. Rob was like, "What are you doing?" Up? <laughs> Here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell Kevin something right now, real quick. Oh boy, if you ever get like a massive thing that for your career, you're not waking up. I am not waking up in the morning. <laughs> I would, and I'll tell you this: I wouldn't expect you to. 
I'd be like, you can catch it on the DVR, bro. <laughs> I mean, that's um, that's great. It's really nice of you. It's, it's incredibly nice of yeah. you. It's almost as nice as thinking that we've achieved something as great as Sports Illustrated. I'm never going to get over that. <laughs> You're like, you guys know that moment. No, Camille, we don't. No, we don't. <laughs> How does this year feel? Um, I mean, obviously the cover is the biggest thing, but you're involved in this one anyway. Is there, is there like a, a drop down? Or I know you say you're ex excited for the other girls, but yeah, it's yeah. got to be a little bit different this time around, no? No, not really. I mean, it, to me, getting the cover rookie year is like, yeah. I mean, at that point, it's, it's kind of like, how does it get better than this? Right, what's next? <laughs> yeah. but, but honestly, like getting, you're not promised to come back to the issue every year. So, it, so it's really one of those things that like you never take it for granted. So mm -hmm. being secured to uh, shoot for the 2020 issue was like, honestly, it was, felt like a cover moment. All of my yeah. moments with that you guys know, I like geek out, I'm obsessed. Every time I talk about it through all the years I've come on in your show, like I'm excited each time through the swim search, then getting the callbacks and making the finals and then became a rookie, then cover. Now it, I'm still excited to come back as now a vet finally. So right. You're um, OG now. No, that one I do get because my high school hockey coach used to tell us the same thing. You don't make, you're not guaranteed to make the team every year. <laughs> so I totally, totally level with that. <laughs> so, so yeah, so this year's super exciting, um, and yeah, I'm pumped. You know, I'm, I'm now now we don't get to do the launch in person, which kind of stinks, but it's cool how we're still doing this. They were like, you, you want to go on KFC Radio? They're they're your boys. They wanted to talk about. The <laughs> Sign me up, no hesitation. I'm going so on. wait, you, I mean, obviously you did all the photo shoot. You got that all in before Corona, I'm assuming, or I mean, yeah, my shoot, I actually went straight from Miami at Super Bowl and uh, then went straight to the So that was like, you know, right before, I mean, everything yeah, started to shut was. down around March. So you really like, what, has yeah. there been any, any modeling either SI or otherwise during all this or is everything shut down? No, everything shut down. I mean, thank God for this being such a social media driven, uh, like world that we live yeah. in now because a lot of, a lot of like. I feel like marketing and like the new billboard is, is not even like TV or on the side of the highways. It's like Instagram. Yeah. So, right. So I definitely have been able to do home generated content for, for the different. Well, I, I feel like that's why you're in such a good spot and why SI like has, has latched onto you and why I think bigger things are ahead. Cause I think you were pretty smart and savvy about Instagram and social media. And like, I feel like a lot of other girls might just rely on the shoots and they go and, and that's their content. And I mean, Never not dancing, the videos, the the stories. A lot of like, dancing from home lately, yeah. Yeah, but honestly, <laughs> that's that's as effective as a magazine is. You know what I mean? Maybe more so because yeah. like people can see you every day, and maybe it's not the professional photo shoots, but you can get you know your Camille fix twenty four seven. It's cool. Yeah, it's 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 been cool to be able to be home because it's one of those things that I've always been like, oh, I really like people want to know what do I eat, how do I work out, and I've finally been able to like get on Instagram live. I feel like everyone goes live mm -hmm. now and like get to kind of connect in that way. And because I'm always like on the on the plane, and when I'm not working, I don't really want to like get online and you know right right. Talk. So it's it's been cool to be able to do it do it like that. So I actually do have a question about that. There was I I don't have TikTok, so I didn't go follow you on TikTok. But there okay. was a story you posted where it was like, go follow me on TikTok for the rest of this, and it was like, bring your boyfriend over, and if he laughs at this, he's immature. Oh yeah, oh yeah. What was it? Oh, you didn't watch? I because you said you made us go follow you on TikTok, I'll and I don't have TikTok. Better. I'll do it to you guys. Okay, so mm -hmm. keep a straight. Don't smile yet. Keep a straight okay. face. Okay. <laughs> I don't know that. Okay, so I'll like do the TikTok to you guys. All right, so bring your bring KFC radio over. If they laugh at this, they're immature. If they don't, I say they're still immature because mm -hmm. still just boys are immature. So you ready? Mm -hmm. Boobies. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing. Oh God, yeah, yeah. No, that works. That works. <laughs> We've always said the the problem. There's a problem with the uh, with like boobs and boobies sounds like weird and like like a little kid, you know. And then like tits is too immature or too like crass. And breast sounds weird. There's not a there's not a good word for this. There's not a good word for boobs. What do you call them in your everyday talk? If you're talking to your girlfriends. What would you say? My boobs. Like, this boobs. is a, like, this is a boob shirt. Like, it's just my boobs. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, I guess I'm not boobs. Take boobies. Yeah, so boobies is weird, like, right? Tits, I feel like, is like a guy's thing. Like, yeah. a frat it's, boy's Yeah, thing. it's over the top. It's like, yeah. all right, that's a little much. It's, like, yeah, it's, it's yeah. harsh. It's like a little <laughs> sexual. It's like, and then, but I feel like breasts is like, you sound like you're talking to a doctor. 
Yeah, yeah, definitely. So just definitely. boobs it is, huh? I think we just broke it down. <laughs> <laughs> Urban Dictionary. There you go. Definition. Boobs. <laughs> um, so you are going to move to Tampa? Is that the plan? I mean, as of right now, yeah. Mm -hmm. I've got a lot of work on the East Coast. It's it's funny to say that, but I've, I've got actually a couple of on-location situations. So some shoots are starting to happen now, but everyone's masked up, and then I take it off, and I, I, mm -hmm. you know, I put, on, put on the the modeling showcase. But, um, yeah, Rob will head out there next week, and then um, I'll meet him down there when I'm when – I'm, Kind of done up here, but has the but initial. Are you guys staying with Tom and Giselle? That's what I heard. <laughs> are we staying with them? Yeah. I mean, he did have a couple of slumber parties. Yeah, <laughs> how did that go? Down the spot, he did. How are the slumber parties? How does that go? Uh, I think they're like. I always ask, like, "What you guys do?" And they're like, "We were in by, by nine. Mm -hmm. uh, we had really yummy, healthy food." I'm like, "Well, tell me about it. I'm I'm dying to know." Um, and yeah, he's like, the kids are really fun. The house is beautiful. I know, I think, um, I, I think Jeter used to live there. Right. Yeah. Did, did you see the viral tweet about that? Very yeah. funny tweet where it was like, oh, was it? it was like Tom on the phone asking Jeter if Rob can stay in his house. <laughs> and, and then it's like Rob turning the corner in a Yankees robe with a mouthful of ice cream. What'd he say? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't see that. I, I, I do feel like uh, almost anybody else, I wouldn't believe it, but I feel like a slumber party at Tom Brady's house is like, yeah, we ate, you know, some vegan fucking healthy salad or something, and yeah. we had to, we went to sleep in like our hyperbaric chambers, and yeah, uh, and we much. studied game tape, you know? Yeah, they wake up early, they, and then they go to their, they did their practice, and then they're, I think, I think there's a pool there, I think they do like, but instead of just swimming leisurely, it's like a workout swim, and then they do their treatment. <laughs> I can like, see oh, that. Like, Dude, Tom's, I would Tom's doing like, that. you know, the breaststroke and shit, and, and Rob's just doing like cannonballs, like, <laughs> let's, let's, let's make a whirlpool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I feel like I wouldn't want to hang out with Tom. Again. No, I, I mean, I I would like to hang out with Tom if, when, like, Tom was, like, 24, like, chugging beers in Faneuil Hall. I don't know yeah. if if he wants to make me work out while I'm swimming in the pool, I'd be like, dude, leave me yeah. alone. Right you know what's going to be a sight when Tom Brady retires? Because I feel like he's going to cut loose. You think so? I do. Not, I don't not, think not, so. He's not going to be, like, a maniac, but... But like he'll eat a fucking Big Mac or something. You know what I mean? He'll he'll he's gonna have to stop with the craziness eventually. He'd he'd age. He, Tom Tom would have one bite of a cheeseburger and he would age fifty years. Yeah. Like, like it's all been holding up this Just whole time. The floodgates. With, <laughs> yeah. He looks good. Everything he's doing, it's it's working. Not, yeah. Definitively. You don't even have to ask questions. It's it's just so obvious. Right. He's like aging backwards. He is. He's fucking Benjamin Button. <laughs> Nuts. Has the initial, like, I know last time we talked, you were pretty emotional over it because it was all very new, but is it kind of just like it's settled in and now, you know, you're going to live in Tampa, it's going to be with the Bucks instead of the Pats, yada, yada? Yeah, I feel like it's not It's not going to really change that much. I mean, my family's still in, in, the, in, the, um, in the Northeast, and we're, I don't know, we're not getting rid of this house anytime soon. Mm -hmm. I'm still here. Like I said, I've, I've over the last seven years, I feel like New England, Boston is like my my home they're like mm -hmm. my people i have i have a lot of business relationships up here so i'm not running away from here anytime soon so and then on top of it you know say I get down to tampa but i can't even go to the games i've got to watch from the tv mm -hmm. like everybody else. oh that's like, true i didn't even think so, about that like families well, can't go to the games i'm a worker b and i've got a couple meetings and some shoots in new york and some stuff going on here in boston and um i mean la just shut shut back down again so i'm not even going out to my spot there anytime soon so it's 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 settled in that he's a buccaneer. He wears like some of the their swag around the house and stuff. And at first it was weird to not see the Patriot head, but I'm getting used to it now. Um, I ordered a couple of things, so I'm getting a little bit used to wearing the, the red and black and white color and stuff. But, what, what, but as far as the move, I'm not really running away anytime soon. Are so. your family uh, members, are they Bucks fans? Or are they sticking with the Pats or what? Like, Where's the line of of loyalty? It's like, all right, you're, you're with him, so you're going to have to like root for them. But would your... Mother, your brother, your sister, your father, do they transfer over or they stay with the Pats? Well, it's it's so interesting because my dad actually, before I became a Pats cheerleader, was rooting for the Giants. And then, of course, I was getting him front row tickets to come mm. sit and watch the games. And then he, of course, wanted me to go to the Super Bowl. So he was rooting the Patriots to the Super Bowl. So during the preseason games, like he was always torn. I was like, I'm rooting for Camille on the sidelines, but I really want my Giants to win. Yeah. But then he became a Patriots fan. You know, Rob started sitting down at our dinner table and, you know, he's got signed jerseys and the yeah. whole – Every 
Christmas. He's got new gear and stuff. So it's he's he's a Patriots fan. My whole family's a Patriots fan. But now I'm like, what do we do? What are you guys going to do? And they're like, well, when Rob plays, we're rooting for Fox. But other than that, we're rooting for the Patriots. So yeah, I think that's fair. I, I don't think you can. I'm doing the same thing. I root for both teams. Yeah, he's an asshole. Yeah. Honestly, same. <laughs> but you know what? I feel like I, I've said like, that. Camille, Kevin gets so mad about it. I root. I root for like three teams now. I yeah. have so many NFL teams. It's crazy. But you well, know, you Camille, are, Camille's in love with with a guy, and like so are you. So am I. Yeah. I'm in love with it's, Tom Brady. It's basically so, like, the same thing. <laughs> yeah. I always forget who's your team, Kevin. I'm a Jets fan. <laughs> you even said it like. Mm. Yeah. No, I know it. I'm very, uh, very aware. And I even thought though, like I do think Sam Darnold's going to be good. I think there's a you know a little bit of an opportunity. And then Cam Newton comes back, and I'm sure he'll be oh. a fucking MVP candidate. And it's just like, well, never mind. <laughs> Close the window again. That video of him smoking a cigar, dressed that outfit is, I mean, Feidelberg is obsessed oh. with the Cam Newton aesthetic. Because I just like, oh what? Oh my I, God, yeah. Mm -hmm. You must love his swag and his hats and all oh, that. Oh, Camille, he yeah. Had like a, it wasn't like a scarf, but something was he, tied he, around he his neck. He had a neck. sweater tied around was his neck. That what it was that oh, unbelievable. Looked, yeah. Like, what I do, like, what I can do is judge attire. I can't judge, like, quarterback play. Like, what the fuck do I know about playing you know quarterback? What you do? I feel like you should be one of those people, like, not a blogger necessarily, but when he has an outfit oh. that you love, like, you should do, like, the balling on a budget version and, yeah. like, do the split screen situation. That's, that's a good idea. Outfit. That's a good idea, Camille. That is. I'm gonna, Camille, here's the deal. I'm going to definitively steal that idea. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> here's what we do. We're going to steal that, and we're going to give you zero percent. <laughs> that fight over <laughs> trying to be like Cam Newton. Woo, grab the hat. The hat's yeah. right there. That's That's a start. Oh, that's that oh, Nick's hat? That's Nick's yeah. hat, yeah. I mean, Cam is like the king of hats. He's the Hold king on. of... Is he wearing a turtleneck? Well, Nick's got a tiny little head. Is it what? Wait, are you wearing a turtleneck t-shirt? No. No, it's, it's just a... like a gator, like a mask thing. Oh, oh, I was like... But, but turtleneck t-shirt is an idea. <laughs> that's something uh -oh. Cam Newton would wear. Um, I got a question for you, Camille. The, uh, do I look good? First of all, yeah, yeah, I really like the hat. I've oh. always liked the hat. Okay, thank you. Uh, second of all, you I remember the first time you came on um, and you were telling the story of one of your rookie photo shoots. It was yeah. like you were like topless in Bali or something outrageous. Oh, yeah, yeah. That, really another thing we can definitely relate to. Um, <laughs> do you have any fun stories from this one? Where were you in this one? Maybe. I was in the I was in the Dominican mm -hmm. and I'm trying to think. I, it's, it's so that was like the first time that I ever was on an on location shoot where we were just like on this private island and I had to like change in the the palm trees and everything else I was explaining to you I like stripped down naked and was like ah, I'm shooting for a sec but now it's so normal so I feel like those moments happen but it's like now it's getting normal then right. you just kind of change behind a tree someone put the towel up you do the thing so I mean I was still just excited to shoot but I'm trying to think of anything like uh mm, at the end of the shoot I was it was a couple, couple of the last shots. It was golden hour. The sun was setting. And there was this little girl who kept kind of getting in the background of the shots. And so we'd have to like move over a little bit or whatever. But she was sitting there and she was just like admiring what was going on. And she was so excited. And it turns out, I forget where she was from, but it was, it was from another country. And she had like this beautiful accent. And I would have to say maybe she was like seven or eight years old. And she came up in the middle of shooting and she was like, are you Camille? And I was like, oh, wow. yeah, but we were in the Dominican. Like it was like, what? And she was like, I know exactly what you're doing. You're shooting for sports all straight swimsuit. She was like, I love you. And this is so cool. And I was like, Sheesh. you guys. So like, she came up and we took like a big break and I was just talking with her and she was like, can you follow me on Instagram and all this stuff? So I fought. So I, after the shoot, I ended up following her and, and yeah, I keep in touch with her, but it's so cool. No I have kidding. Like, yeah. I have behind the scenes photos and it's, she's like, this is little girl floating in the water and it's, me just like, you know, being all like in the mm. moment, sexual posing. And she's just like back there. And I was like, that would so be me. If that was me <laughs> and watching Chrissy Teigen or, or, or Heidi Klum or someone shoot, I would have been like. <gasps> that's honestly, I feel, again, that's like the difference with you and, and like other models. I feel like you'd be the type like, come over here. Let's talk. Oh, let's, I'm surprised you didn't like put her into the photo shoot. She should be on the cover <laughs> with you, you know? Yeah, right. I, I, I could yeah. see that. Like, that's that's the difference in the way you you operate, because I do think that at least in the past, there's, you know, an air about models that they're kind of like on a whole other they're on a pedestal and they're pretty and they're special. And I feel like you just kind of like normalize it, if you will. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I mean, at the, we're all human beings, you know, no matter what you do. I mean, even celebrities, you can't even be a celebrity without having fans. Like, yeah, yeah. 
be close to your people. I don't, I'll never understand that. So are you, I, um, are you cool with Chrissy Teigen? Do you have like interaction with her or is that just like a oh, business I haven't thing? Met her yet. I'm really? Like, really? Yeah. Wow. I thought by now you guys would be doing like dinner parties and shit, to be honest. <laughs> Chrissy, if you're watching this, I'll like give you my cell phone number. <laughs> <laughs> Here, I just read it right now and then we'll yeah, keep this video. Yeah, that, that'll, that'll be fine. <laughs> just put out your number now and, and Chrissy will see it. No big deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know uh, I could see like a little like uh, a little double date, Chrissy and John and, and Rob and Camille. That would be really fun. Yeah. Actually. I'd um, very much like to hear Rob and John talk. <laughs> uh, I almost feel like Chrissy and Rob would be fun. More yeah, yeah, yeah. You got, and I feel like you and John would hit it off. That's yeah. fine. Right? Yeah, pretty much. No, I actually, I'm a huge fan of Hannah Jeter. She's actually from the Virgin Islands, which is where my mom grew up. Mm -hmm. And so we kind of have, whenever we uh, link up or we run into each other, I actually was the catcher with one of the rookies in Miami uh, this time last year in July at Swim Week. And we were at the Marlins game. And so I was the catcher, and Brooks was the newest rookie, and she threw me, threw me a the first pitch. And then after that, we got invited up to go see Hannah Jeter, who was with Derek up in the suite. And so we went up there and Hannah was when um, she heard that Rob was getting a spot in Miami and stuff. She had said to me, you know, the four of us should go out sometime when you come in town. Um, and I was like, okay, my lucky number is two because of Derek. Um, I am a Yankees Patriots fan. Oh, uh, no. You know this. You guys already yelled at me about this. <laughs> I'm remembering now. I am I, remembering. I'm, I'm remembering as well. Mm -hmm. and, I, I, mm -hmm. and then I love Hannah. And I was like, that would be super, super fun for the four of us to go out. So then I went home and I was like, Rob, hurry up and move to your Miami spot. Mind <laughs> you, this is the Tampa, Tampa situation. But I was like, because... We've got priorities. Double date with Hannah and Derek. <laughs> yeah, you need like a it's Rob and Camille, Hannah and Derek, Tom and Giselle, Chrissy and John. Just go out and have like a little quadruple date. I mean, that's a wrecking crew. Yeah, that's it's a, a squad crew. right there. And Ryan and Blake. Sure, throw sure. them in. I want, I just, we got to put that in there. Ryan told me one time that he really wanted to meet Rob. Um, and I said, I really want to meet your wife. So he said. There you go. A little trade off. I was like, great. I'm gonna to go to lunch alone, just so you know. After this, no, you can come. <laughs> no like, like, like I'm literally gonna to go to I'm, lunch alone. I'm gonna to go to Subway. For this. Okay, you guys are gonna get like Michelin star lunch together. I'm gonna to get a foot long by myself, wearing. And they're six dollars now for some reason. <laughs> God, I just gotta get pretty and rich. How do you get pretty and rich, Camille? Uh, I don't know. I'm like. Working on it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have that equation yet. That's why I love you. Well, uh, work they, your ass off and be really, really nice. What's like, What's the I, latest uh, outside of of just taking pretty pictures? Are we doing uh, more movie content? Are we auditioning? Or what's What's Well, what's actually, when I talked to you about, well, I mean, we've talked so many times, but that that Ryan Reynolds movie, Free Guy, was supposed to come out. July oh, 30th. right. Yeah, that yeah. Got pushed that's that's Corona. push. Yeah, December eleventh. So, what is it? September 11th? December. December uh, 11th. December 11th. Okay. And um, what else is going on? Um, I mean, it's weird because I feel like a lot of stuff just press pause. So it's like yeah. a weird holding pattern for a lot of people. Yeah. Actually, during during COVID, it's almost been like an everyday project now. I, I, I've been hoping that it was going to start to get a little bit quieter. But I um, hopped on the board of this um, with this company that I was going to start a clothing line in LA with, but now we're, we, we transferred and moved everything over and prioritized it to um, manufacturing masks called Get Behind the Mask. And oh, right, right, right. Day we're sourcing masks to new states and new places. And now we're talking about getting them into schools. You know, at mm -hmm. first it was the hospitals and now hospitals are starting luckily to slow up a little bit with needing the masks. And then it started moving over to homeless facilities. And now we're getting them into rehab facilities and nursing homes and learning about getting them into dental offices. Um, because now the businesses are up and running, the masks seem to be the, one of the biggest things to help the spread. So that's mostly what I've got my hands in outside of taking photos from home. That's um, a lot. Like an everyday thing. Yeah, I mean, you, I remember I had texted you about that. Um, that was early. Like, you guys were on the masks March, thing. It was like, March. Right away yeah. we got into it. I right. can't even believe it's already, you know, end of July. And we're right. still still having to. Um, still not enough. Yeah. It's still, yeah, it's, it's nuts to me that. Well, it's crazy that some people don't even want to wear them. But even if you do, that it's hard no. to get your hands on them and the right yeah. kind and the right place. It's. It seems like something that would be an easy fix, but I guess it's not. So good on you for trying to uh, help that. I don't know what, like, schools is so weird. I mean, I got my two kids, and I'm like, 
I mean, I want them to go to school, but they're also so young that I'm like, it's not really that important yet. So why risk it? And should yeah. they wear masks? How old are babies? My uh, my son is about to turn three on Saturday. And, oh, yeah, I didn't know that. And, oh, you're a present. And Shay is four and a half. She'll be five in December. Oh, they are so young. Yeah, three yeah, they're babies. Five. Yeah, I mean, Wait, trying to was- trying to do Zoom school with Keegan was just like. This is silly. Yeah. Like, <laughs> no what, like, what do you even teach a three-year-old in Zoom school? You can't. That's the thing. I mean, what can you teach them in real life? It's right. like it's basically babysitting, and then <laughs> you know they sing a song or whatever. So John's my third kid. We uh, I've been trying to teach him over Zoom, but uh, yeah. yeah, all, all my so kids. Was, he's like I'll have to get him a present. Like that was like the cute. Like are you Uncle like Bites? Yeah, he's like, Uncle Bites. Like, sure. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I get to be fun, Uncle. It's easy. Yeah. Oh my! God. It, it really is more like older brother. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, um, well, that's awesome. That, I mean, it's great that you're, you know, giving back and doing good stuff with the masks and whatnot. So, yeah, yeah. well, congrats on everything and uh, being in the issue again. I feel like it's going to be at what point do I like stop saying congrats? Because I think it's going to keep happening. You keep saying you don't take it for I granted. Hope. But yeah, I feel like you're just you're in for life. I hope. I hope. Yeah. So we'll see. All right. Well, I promise forever grateful. But uh, the issue hit stands July 21st. Okay. So, Everybody go out, get all three versions of all three cover girls. What and- day do you think it is right now? Today? Yeah. Well, today's Wednesday, but I don't know when the 21st is. But like what day, like what date do you think it is? I would not have guessed the date. Oh, today. today's date? Yeah. July. I was going to say the 11th. When 15th? You- wow. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good job. I, I just happened to look and I was like, whoa. Didn't think it was the 15th. <laughs> Not even close. <laughs> Did you do your I, taxes, I literally, John? I have to be on Friday, and I know it's the 17th. I had to, like, do it backwards, or I wouldn't have known. Did I, I did my taxes. You did your yeah. taxes? Did yeah. you do your taxes, Camille? I feel like people just, like, forgot to do taxes this year. It's just like... Well, well, I mean, did I do my taxes? No. But did they? are they getting uh, complete? Are my taxes done? Yes. yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's me. Yeah. I don't understand. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. Right. All right, girl. Thanks so much. Say hi to Rob for us, and we'll talk to you soon. All right, I will. See you guys. Bye. Thanks. Bye, girl.